from CareCo TV, one of the longest running outdoor programs on television today. Exploring the country and the coast in search of adventure. From the mountains of the Great Northwest to the shores of the Atlantic Ocean, this is Americana Outdoors, presented by Garmin. This week, Americana Outdoors found a solution for all season hunters who need a gun that can adapt to any environment or prey. It's the Thompson Center Encore Pro Hunter. Since the original Contender pistol in 1967, Thompson Center is the leading gun maker, producing switch barrel firearms and versatile shooting platforms. And now, it's time for the latest generation of TC interchangeable platforms, the TC Encore Pro Hunter. So in 1997, Thompson Center came out with the Encore Pro Hunter system. Now this firearm is probably the most versatile firearm in the market today. This receiver is the serialized part of the gun and it's the heart of the system. With just a few screws on the forend and on the pistol grip, you can change out the forend, the buttstock, the pistol grip, and you can make this from a pistol to a centerfire rifle. Now, you are gonna to wanna to check your local, state, and federal laws to make sure that you are abiding by all laws and regulations. However, you can change this gun from 204 Ruger all the way up to 500 in Smith & Wesson. And not only that, this platform can also change from a center-fired rifle to a turkey gun, 12 and 20 gauge, a slug gun, and also a muzzle loader. So for more information about the Encore Pro Hunter system, go to tcarms.com. Well, let's head out now on one of several hunts we'll feature in this show with the Encore Pro Hunter. You know, it's 5.45 this morning. We get a light rain falling. Sun rises until about 7.16, so it's going to take it a long time to get daylight today with this rain and the cloud cover. Uh, we're going to get in the stand really, really early this morning. Uh, and just kind of let everything settle down and see what happens. We're going to go back to the same spot I set last night. We saw a lot of activity there. Uh, there's a couple of bucks we didn't see that have been showing up on the scouting camera, and hopefully we'll drop the hammer on that TC this morning and knock one down. You know, with the rain falling in this type of setup, we're literally been hunched over in these tripods for about an hour. But I knew in the back of my mind that we had to do this to get into this location really early, let everything sit down, and hopefully these bucks would funnel back in. We've got two ridges, and I'm sitting on one of them. The other ridge is off in the distance in a great valley in front of us, and these deer are just moving from every direction in there. You know, with the rain falling and this setup of how we got in there super early, anything's going to be possible. That's a giant right there. <laughs> I mean, what a what a season. This season we've been all over the place. We've seen first deer taken, we've seen big deer taken, we've seen snow, we've seen 100 degrees. Now we're hunting in the rain, and I just smoked me an old good one right there, boys. The tines on that, G2s, I mean, they are big. We are empty. Let's go check on this big guy right over here. <laughs> and that's what I'm talking about. Look at the antlers on that deer there. I mean, look at that big old stud right there, buddy. That is a stud of a buck. Look at that right there. That is some kind of gorgeous right there. Big old mature whitetail. Heavy, big long tines. That's what I love about Texas. Interested in joining One Gun Hunting Club? Go to Thompson Center website at tcarms.com and start building your custom encore. The art of the hunt is not painted with a broad brush. Its eyes in the details. The note on the refrigerator. 
A set of broadheads, tried and true. The well-worn boots, soaked in dough estrus. And a Garmin Rhino, the only GPS with two-way radio. Clear the rhubarb out of the freezer. It's whitetail season in rhino country. Kill a moose two miles from your truck, and you best not be scared of a little work. A lot of hunger pains. Or the dark. Introducing the new TC Compass, only by Thompson Center. Follow your compass with America's master gunmaker. Americana Outdoors presented by Garmin is brought to you by Garmin Verb. Life, camera, action. Cabela's, it's in your nature. Yamaha ATV, real world tough. And by Thompson Center, America's master gunmaker. Welcome back to Americana Outdoors. The seasons may change, but with TC Encore Pro Hunter interchangeable platforms, the hunt never ends. Encore Pro Hunter firearms deliver uncompromising accuracy year round. We're in Wade Middleton's turkey camp just outside Brackettville, Texas. The amazing group of ladies who work in the hunting industry from Cabela's, Garmin and Thompson Center are on the turkey hunts with their Thompson Center shotguns. So when we got here, um, we got to sight in. I actually got to walk the ladies through the Thompson Center Encore Pro Hunter because a lot of them have actually never even shot them before. So we walked them through the um, function, the feel, the features of the gun, and then um, we all got to zero them in. We worked with the ones without the scope and then also some with the scope. And uh, the girls got to each choose, you know, if they, if they preferred to shoot with just the sights or with a scope on it. I was lucky enough to hunt this morning with Logan, my camera guy, again, and then with Wade. And we heard a gobble before I was even sitting down still. So he's like, okay, get all ready. And I couldn't tell if they were actually in the tree at that time or if they were on the ground. Probably within, I don't know, half an hour, we had heard some more gobbling and we heard a couple hens and then these birds flew down right over our head. I mean, not maybe 10 feet from my head and just started walking around that field and they went to the left where sadly um, it was blocked by a bush so I couldn't see them. But from what I understand, Wade said he saw them putting on a show. So I'm not a very patient person, but I hung in there and then eventually they started to come back and they were coming from the left and I kind of moved my head slightly and I saw them and Logan's like, all right, are you ready? And I said, yep, I'm ready. And he goes, okay, the hens are coming first. So I saw the hens and then to my left, I saw like three toms all puffed up and beautiful. And I turned back and I, when I did in my scope, there was a tom right in front of me. In the head. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, good beard. Oh, good. good spurs. Nice. Good, really long, really, really long beard. Nice. <laughs> good beard on him. Well, that was one of those intense hunts from everything yeah. from the coming off the roost. Boy, we had one hen that just wanted to talk the whole time. <laughs> you actually did have a conversation well, with her. <laughs> you know, how's her, how's her, family? her family? Family's good. <laughs> the family's good. I, I think one of the uncles is uh, coming home. He's going to be the guest of honor for dinner for well, us. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, now it's Wade's turn to have some fun. With only a few weeks left in the season, he's looking for the right deer to fill his remaining tag.
dark as hawks are. I mean, the back end of him is just really dirty. He's over there by our scouting camera now. He's behind the stealth cam. There doesn't seem to be any trophy bucks in sight. However, an unwanted guest who's been causing some destruction at the ranch has shown up, and Wade is fixing to put an end to it. That pig right there is a big, big pig, and he's got dust that stick out about four inches. Well, not the trophy white tail we're looking for, but big pig, lots of bacon. When I saw him come in and the sun was setting, I thought, you know, it's a good way to end this, get ready for Christmas, and I'm gonna take a break and come back after Christmas. We're doing our youth hunt around then, we'll spend some time with the kids, but there's a few days left in there I can still go hunt, so. My season's not over yet. That encore's gonna bark again before the year's done. Let's take this pig back to camp and show him off. Coming up, Wade Middleton will put the TC Encore Pro Hunter pistol to the test. Stay tuned. For sale, lakeside getaway, solid construction with mudroom. For 200 bucks, no mortgage necessary. Cabela's West Wind Dome Tent, great price. Lifetime guarantee, only at Cabela's. The full line of Yamaha ATVs and side-by-side -side vehicles with class-leading durability and reliability all real world tough. Americana Outdoors presented by Garmin is brought to you by Smith & Wesson Performance Center. Performance when it matters most. Stealth Cam Digital Scouting Cameras. The game has changed. And by Wiley X. Absolute Premium Protection. Welcome back to Americana Outdoors. The Thompson Center's interchangeable platforms give you unprecedented options to create your ideal gun. And one of your possibilities is the TC Encore Pro Hunter Pistol. This would be the first time that I had a chance to actually hunt whitetail with the TC Encore pistol configuration. And you know, the Encore, you've got so many different variables and so many different things you can do with it. It's just one of the most unique platforms in the world. I mean, it is a true one gun hunting club because you can do so many things with it, you know, from varmints to big game. Got hampered really bad by the storms that rolled in, but we knew they were coming. Made a decision to kind of wait it out based on what we were seeing on the radar. Slid in here just after daybreak. The bad stuff supposedly had already blown through, and we really only dealt with, you know, a, couple, a little bit of heavy rain a couple of times. I mean, it was definitely a fun, exciting hunt as far as I'm concerned. You don't always, you don't always have to get one. This rain's supposed to get out of here. Uh, in the next hour, hour and a half, and uh, the wind's probably gonna blow pretty hard this, today, but this afternoon, I wouldn't be surprised if they don't get up and get on their feet and really move. That afternoon, we went back, grabbed us about to eat, you know, based on the clouds, the way the wind direction was going, we felt like we could go up on onto a, a hill and thought, man, this, this might be the deal. And there's a big draw on a drain immediately to our right and behind us that these deer are using as an incredible funnel and a trail. We'd been there for, you know, maybe an hour and a, and a couple of does and fawns kind of meandered through. And it had gotten down to probably about 6.30, you know, which means we were running out of daylight. And um, when, I mean, all of a sudden Jeff just kind of tapped me on the shoulder and kind of gave me a little head nod and I looked down there and here comes a couple of bucks easing up through the brush, one behind the other. Mm -hmm. 
that's the TC Encore, baby. I love this platform. It's so cool to look at. I mean, that 10 point came right up that draw. We've talked about that draw before and how they funnel up through here like that. I mean, it just, you know, whether I'm shooting the rifle, whether I'm shooting turkeys, whether I'm shooting this handgun, I mean, this is fantastic. And I love the 308 cartridge on top of that. So, I mean, if you're looking for the one gun, this is it. And that's one nice buck sitting right down there. He's a mainframe 10. He's got a little kicker coming off over there. He came easing up that draw there. Man, it's been some fun hunting here. We had a rainy day set up in the stand this morning. I mean, it was pouring on us, didn't get one, saw a good shooter, knew about this deer, and the wind couldn't have been perfect. <laughs> that's awesome. <laughs> oh, man, that's so fun right there. The TC smoked him right there. I put it right on the eye pocket, drop him right in his tracks. Just like that. That was fun. Right now, hey Scott, that's really cool right there. That big, that kicker. I mean, it's almost like a little lower mule deer fork on him. Tines come in there. He's got good mass, lots of little character on him. Good brow tines. What a great old buck. Thank you, buddy. That was fun. I mean, there's no tracking or none of that. You spend a lot of time doing that when you're whitetail hunting, but. We had none of that today. That was a lot of fun. I think I'll go get the Wolverine and we'll get him loaded up. Up next, Yamaha's Steve Nessel invites his friend from the outdoor industry to a whitetail hunt in Texas. Man versus nature. It's a tale as old as time. An external struggle pitting the hero against an animal in a battle of strength and wits to see who'll come out victorious. Will you accept the challenge? Performance Center by Smith & Wesson. Performance when it matters most. Incredibly compact, perfectly balanced, deadly accurate. Shooting 340 feet per second, the reverse draw Vortec RDX is performance engineered to take down big game. Horton by 10 point. Adrenaline fueled. Americana Outdoors presented by Garmin has been brought to you by 10 point crossbow technologies. Perfection lives here. Conquest Sense, hunting and dog training sense. And by Walker's Game Ear. Protect it or lose it. Welcome back to Americana Outdoors. Yamaha's Steve Nessel makes it a tradition every year to bring out his friends from the outdoor industry and give them an opportunity to hunt Texas. Today he invites Rick Sosabee, an off-road journalist, to our deer camp on the opening day hunt. Hopefully the rain will hold off. It looks like it's uh, getting a little bit crazy here behind us, but um, we're gonna take our time, be patient and uh, hopefully so find something that is uh, worthy of taking home. During breakfast we were talking, uh, we definitely knew we were going back to this field and um, uh, sit in the same spot in hopes that the, the buck that Steve had spotted earlier in the morning would come back. Uh, a lot of does started filtering in and, and, uh, and then we had a couple of uh, um, nice little young bucks come up. Uh, there was one that uh, was scraping the trees a little bit and then there was another uh, uh, younger buck that come in and they uh, got into a little bit of a, a sparring contest. You know, as we were watching these little bucks uh, um, scrape and work around, uh, Steve happened to notice a shadow lurking off in the trees. Man, this beautiful 10-point uh, mature buck comes strutting out. Uh, he's strutting out uh, probably, it was more to our left, but I would say somewhere in the area of 75 to 100 yards from us. Just grazing a little bit, trying to make friends with some of the does and, and uh, is walking away from us. And, you know, my heart is just sinking because I knew that from my experience that the further he got away from us, the bigger chance there was for something to alert everything there that we were there and for us to lose sight of him altogether. Uh, that probably worried me the most. 
I, I could feel my heart beat in the tips of my fingers. Breath was starting to get really shallow and, and, uh, and that big 10 point turned and, and headed straight back for us. Get ready, Rick. All right, just get your breathing under control. Yeah, whatever. What do you know about that? <laughs> I know I'm proud of you. That. Oh, yeah, that's a beautiful animal. He is gorgeous. I think that's a deer we saw this morning before we could make him out when it's dark. Yeah. Because I saw on his left side, he kind of crab claws were bigger than that. Yeah. Wade was telling us about a tent out here that it, kind of the genetics in this area had been here for a while. Yeah. Absolutely beautiful, right? <laughs> We talked about making a good shot on a beautiful animal, man. You just did that. Yeah. You see the deal on that. It's just pure elation. You know, you, you, one thing you want to do, and I, I always strive to do, is make an accurate shot. I never want to wound an animal. Um, I, I'm a big boy, so tracking them's not in my favor either. But um, I, I'm just blessed that I was able to make a good shot and, and, uh, and things went well. I've watched a lot of uh, television shows and, and uh, you know, you don't really understand how it feels until you walk up and see it for yourself. And I absolutely could not believe it. Oh, goodness, son. In my heart, I kind of like felt like this one would be the one for me. I just felt like it was going to be uh, the deer. And uh, as soon as this big boy turned around and started heading back towards us, Oh my Lord, it was, I was having to tell myself to breathe. You know, it was just like, take a deep breath, Ricky. You, you gotta grab a hold of yourself. My feet were shaking, my hands were shaking. I think uh, he's in love with Texas now. He's, he, he told me he, he likes to say Georgia is uh, God's country, but you can tell that God definitely had something to do with Texas as well. So, you know, you know love, God love Ricky. Um, I was so glad to be able to, to experience that with him, share it with him. Um, again, didn't do much, didn't have much of a hand in it, but to be there was special for me, so uh, I'm, I'm going to count myself lucky to have been a part of it. For me, I love the feeling and accuracy of this firearm. I've got nothing but confidence when I pick it up and carry it on my hunts. I love the versatility of being able to do so much with this unique platform. The TC Encore Pro Hunter comes available in 243, 30 6 or 308 as a complete rifle, or chambered in 223 or 308 as a pistol. The interchangeable firearm system is fully supported with a lot of accessory stocks and barrels ranging from 204 to 500 Smith & Wesson Magnum. The TC Encore lineup gives you so many configurations and caliber ranges that you're only limited by your imagination. So get to a dealer or visit the website at tcarms.com and join us in the One Gun Hunting Club. Hey, thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time on Americana Outdoors. Americana Outdoors is a Careco TV production. Since 1984, Sawyer Products has offered the most technologically advanced solutions for protection against sun and bugs. Sawyer Picaridin Insect Repellent is effective against mosquitoes and flies. It's safe on you and your gear. And to maximize your protection, use a combination of Picaridin with odorless permethrin for your clothing and gear. Sawyer Stay Put Sunscreen will keep you comfortable and getting better protection for even longer. You're already outdoors. Sawyer keeps you there. High Viz Shooting Systems knows that your shooting performance matters in all conditions. All High Viz shooters experience faster target acquisition with our durable LightWave sights. Featuring easily interchangeable light pipes, LightWave sights give your eyes the exact sight picture you crave. Shoot High Viz. See what you've been missing. Many said that we were just obsessed when we started, that there had to be an easier way to smoke food. As time passed, the Bradley family created a lineup of Bradley electric smokers that has made it easier for the novice or even expert chef to get perfect results every time they use it. Grab yourself a Bradley smoker 
and take your cooking to an all new level. What does it take to make Evercom deer scent? It takes a deer farmer who raises whitetails. It takes mixing the special blend of Evercom, testing each batch. That smells good. And then pouring each container. Once it's cooled, each container is cleaned, examined, and packaged for shipping. It takes the finest deer herd and a great team of people to make the best hunting scent available. Evercom from Conquest Scents. We plan all year for this. We hone our skills. We have confidence in the gear we choose. When the time comes, will you be ready? We're giving away 10 DS4K models between now and the end of the year. To enter for your chance to win, text STEALTH to 59262. When you're out hunting, make sure you're carrying Grove Tech. Grove Tech is designed specifically for the rigorous demands of the hunt and sets the standard for strength and ruggedness when out in the field. Grove Tech products have simply built the best tools for the job and are proudly made in the USA. Go hunt. We'll carry the gun. Grove Tech. Protect it or lose it. 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 Ingalls got the original high performance cooler and a whole lot more. Ingle coolers, go with the original. Purina's Quick Draw is the perfect solution for attracting deer to your location and providing them with the essential nutrients that will encourage their growth. Use these blocks where you can and I promise you, not only are you gonna see more game, but the game's gonna benefit from you placing it out. The Bubba Blade 4-inch Gut Hook, featuring Mossy Oak Breakup Country, fashions a high carbon stainless steel blade built perfectly to meet your needs. Designed for effective precision cutting, the famous Bubba Blade Handle, featuring Mossy Oak Breakup Country, providing ultimate control when harvesting your game. Bubba Blade, the ultimate sportsman's knife. You work hard to put feed where you need it, when you want it. And thanks to our patented SpinTech spinner mechanism that elevates up and down, you'll no longer have feed go to waste due to wind or unwanted varmints. When the motor is shut off, the spinner plate is automatically pushed up tight and sealed against the hopper, protecting your feed. Stop wasting your time and let the SpinTech technology work for you. Hercules Outdoor Industries is the new leader in hunting blinds. However you hunt, Hercules is the one blind for all needs. Hercules blinds are entirely made in the USA using high quality fiberglass components that can last through rain, snow, and all those cold winters. All Hercules fiberglass hunting blinds are foam insulated and carpeted, and Hercules Outdoor Industries will arrange to have it delivered directly to you. Find out more at HerculesOutdoors.com.